Today we'll recap a 2020 Mexican-Spanish horror film named The Day of the Lord. Menendez, a retired priest who has lost his faith and lives in seclusion, receives a visit from a friend who asks him to exercise his daughter. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. At the beginning of the movie, we see a man named Menendez who is being taken somewhere in a police van. He was a former Catholic priest who is released from the prison and is now being moved to a new home. In the next scene, he is haunted by a lady named Marissa in his dream. She seduces him and asks him to give her a child, because he has killed her son and sent him to hell, and there he is waiting for him. Then he wakes up and gets a call, in which he says that he still has to fix the condition of the house and some other things. Then we see that he has given up his priest life and started drinking alcohol. And we learn from a newspaper that he was imprisoned because he failed an exorcism, in which a child lost his life. And because of that failure, he started having scary dreams. After this again he gets a call from someone with whom he shares his condition. Then a man named Sebas comes to meet him whom he had met in jail. He was a drug addict and Menendez helped him a lot in jail. He says that he thinks his daughter Raquel has been possessed and he wants his help. Menendez is first reluctant to get involved, but when Sebas tells him that he brought his daughter a Persian cat, the cat dies after a few days and he got its head from his daughter's room. Hearing this, Menendez eventually agrees to meet Rackle and asks him to bring her to him the next day. Now after he leaves, Menendez starts opening porn sites, but then controls himself. Then at Menendez's house comes Marisu who used to come to his house every week. She did not consider him responsible for her son's death and used to come to help him with his household chores. Both of them actually started liking each other. After this, he gets a call again and he says that he knows why he sends Marissa to his house every week. While talking on the phone, he gets very sad and starts crying. The next day he again wakes up from Marissa's terrifying dream and after getting up he starts cleaning the house. Then he sets up the house properly and starts preparing for Sebazi's arrival. During this, he sees the same old newspaper, which makes him think of the old case in which the child died and Maris's eye was injured. Then after some time, Sebas comes to his house with Rackle. Seeing them, Menendez again tells Sebas that he will not be able to do this. Yesterday he was drunk, so he promised him, on which Sebas says that now he cannot back down or else he will kill himself. Now Menendez agrees after seeing all this, after which Sebas leaves Rackle in his care. Now Rackle is a rebellious young girl, and she did not respect her father at all. Menendez tells her about the house and then takes her to her room. Now Rackle is talking to her friend on the phone when suddenly she hears some sound from the cupboard. And when she looks inside it, she sees a hole in it from which someone is watching her. Seeing this, she gets scared and after hearing her scream, Menendez comes there. When he goes there to check, Rackle tries to run away but the door is locked. Here Menendez notices that the cross in the room is turned upside down. Seeing the door locked, Rackle starts misbehaving with Menendez and tries to tase him with a taser, but accidentally tases herself and faints. Now Menendez takes her to the sofa and takes off her top and starts smelling it. After some time, when Rackle regains consciousness, Menendez brings her tea and says that he knows that she is not comfortable here. But her father has left her here for her own good and tells her to trust him. Then Rackle gets a vision in which Menendez is suffocating her. She then tells him that she is going to participate in a dancing competition with her friends, after which she will leave her house. While teasing him, she also says that she knows that he had taken off her clothes and then leaves him surprised and goes to the washroom. Now she is smoking there when someone tries to open the washroom's door. She thinks that it is Menendez, so she asks him out loud from inside. But Menendez is downstairs. After using the toilet, she sees that the flush is not working, and something is written on the toilet paper. Then when she comes out, Menendez goes inside on the pretext of fixing the flush and collects her urine sample. Later at the dinner table, Menendez tries to convince her that Sebas is a very nice person and he is doing all this for her. Then he shares some of his personal things with her and asks her if anything different has happened to her. On which she tells that a boy had come into her life but he cheated and used her. She starts crying while saying this and Menendez notices that the cross hanging on the wall has turned upside down. Now Menendez consoles her, after which she shows him her seductive dance. But Menendez does not feel this right and asks her to sleep and leaves from there. He then goes to Rackle and they both are about to kiss, but Menendez knocks her unconscious by hitting her with his head. 
Later, when Rockwell regains consciousness, she is tied to a chair in a storeroom and Menendez is sitting in front. Rockwell requests him to let her go, but Menendez talks to the devil inside her and tells her to leave her body, or else he will get her out in her own way, which will be very tough. And then even if he wants to go, he will not be able to go. He will give him so much pain that he will beg for his death. Now when the devil did not reveal himself, Menendez tases Rockwell with a taser, which makes her condition very bad and look like she is not possessed. Now even after doing all this, when devil does not reveal himself, Menendez decides to exorcism on him and comes out of the room and calls Sebas for help. Then he calls the person from whom he used to get regular calls and he tells him everything. And here it is as if he is talking to God. Then he starts preparing for exorcism, after which we see him in the clothes of the priest. After some time, Sebas also comes there and asks about Rakul. Menendez tells him that he has kept her in the basement. Sebas tells him that there is a very bad smell coming here, to which Menendez tells that he has put on a special incense stick that smells bad. But Rakul didn't notice it, which was the first symptom of her being possessed. Then he fed her bad meat which she ate comfortably, and from her urine sample he came to know that she did not have any disease. She was speaking unconsciously in some other language and marks are made on her body in a particular pattern. All this shows that she is in the possession of some strong demons. He then shows him some naked photos of Rakul, and says that he has to understand that downstairs is not his daughter but a demon, who will not easily leave his daughter. Then he tells him that they will give too much pain to Rakul, which will cause a lot of pain to the demon and he will leave her body. He then asks him to cover his face and tore out some pages of the Bible, and give them to him to read during the exorcism. He asks him to read rites in American accent, so that the demon does not know that he is Rakul's father. After this, both of them go to the basement where Seba starts reading the rites, and Menendez tortures Rakul and asks the demon to leave her body. Now even after all this, the demon is not revealed, but Rakul's condition becomes about to die, which Sabas can no longer see. He takes off his mask and tells Menendez that he cannot do this anymore. Menendez tries to convince him but before he understands, Rakul calls him. Now Seba starts reading again and Menendez starts to uproot Rakul's nails. But seeing Rakul in pain, Sebas gets angry with Menendez and attacks him, and unties Rakul. Now free, the devil reveals himself, causing Rakul to change the color of her eyes, and she attacks Sebas and throws him away. Her voice had also become very scary. Then she goes to Menendez and starts teasing him by seducing him, after which she attacks him and makes him unconscious. Then after some time when he regains consciousness, he and Sebas are tied to the chair. Rakul calls someone and asks to come there and then again starts teasing Menendez by seducing him. He also talks about Marissa and her dead child, from which we learn that it is the same demon who possessed that child. Then when Sebas regains consciousness, demon starts seducing him too. During this, Menendez frees himself and catches the demon, but he frees himself and sits on top of him and starts breaking his fingers. But then Sebas attacks him with a fire extinguisher, which makes him unconscious. Then both of them together tie her with a chain and start exorcism again. Seba starts reading the rites while Menendez starts beating the demon. After some time, he also starts reading the rites, after which the demon comes out of Rakul's body and takes the form of Menendez, and Seba takes away Rakul from there. Now the demon starts coming in front of Menendez by changing his form again and again and trying to weaken him. But Menendez continues the exorcism, after which the demon comes in his original form. Menendez attacks him due to which the whole house starts shaking and breaking down. Then Menendez comes up to Sebas, and he understands that he had defeated the demon. Sebas asks him to go to the hospital, but Menendez tells them to leave as the police are about to arrive. Then they starts leaving from there and while leaving, Rakul says thanks to Menendez. Just then a call comes, on which Menendez says that he has done it and another demon has been removed from here. He is sharing more things when we see that the wire of the phone is not plugged in. Then Menendez is sitting there, when in the distance a nun-like figure floats across the room towards a smiling Menendez. And the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.